Hello and welcome to the Grape Seed Official Podcast. With the Next Gen Podcast, Mikolos's normal this and that spot was taken. Instead of making listeners wait a whole extra 10 episodes for their dose of Mikolos, I wanted to have mm-hmm. him on to bring back a great idea that we did back in episode 106, the lesson plan roulette. In this, we choose a random lesson plan and talk through the directions in it and how we might prepare to teach it. It can be helpful to follow along with us, but even if you aren't teaching the unit we are talking about, these ideas in this thought process is something that will hopefully help you as you prepare for your own grapeseed lessons. So welcome, Miklos. Yes, thank you very much. I I, I was missing this and that. Uh, I will be back, I guess, with that. But this is, I'm excited to spin the wheel today. Yeah, we we still don't have, for budgetary reasons, we still don't have the, the proper gigantic wheel of fortune. Um, but our lesson plan roulette will be unit seven, lesson 28. So go ahead and pause this now if you want to hop on the portal and follow yeah. along with us. There's something though, as I'm as I'm preparing to teach this lesson, and uh, I love unit seven, and I love that this lesson starts with, have you ever seen a monkey? Because um, I love that song and my boys love that song too. But it's interesting because I was just downloading. I went to the portal and uh, like like a um, a dutiful teacher and I clicked on unit seven and I got to my lesson planning tab and I got my lesson planning, lesson plans here. I like to download actually uh, not just the individual lesson plans. I like to download the entire uh, lesson plan, um, you know, the whole PDF of all 30 lesson plans because it because I, I kind of like to peruse all of them uh even when i'm if i'm teaching like today we're going to talk about lesson 28 but i kind of want to look at the previous lesson and maybe the next one too just kind of give it a glance just to kind of just kind of get some context for today but also there's there's other stuff that that you need to look at in addition to the lesson plan while you're preparing and i just wanted to quickly mention that if that's okay one of them so so i just downloaded my lesson plans and I've already flipped over to lesson 28. But in addition to that, in in the this, this is all in the portal. There's five other things that are really important if you want to teach an effective lesson daily. And that is, well, the teacher manual, number one, and uh, for for reference, not just for you know the the like the front matter stuff, the general grapeseed um, philosophies, but for each individual uh, teaching component, uh, the quick checks are essential to kind of reference as you're thinking about your students and while you go over and prepare with the lesson plan. There's the there's a uh, a resource on whiteboard assembly, which gives you information on previous units whiteboard assembly words too, and all the sentences in the unit so that uh, if your students are struggling with whiteboard assembly or and and that and you know phonemic awareness and stuff like that, then you can you can use that in order to to remediate if you have to to help them out. And uh, there's the transition teacher's guide which has a great ideas for transitions. Uh, the lesson preparation page, uh, which if you haven't seen that, it's it's on the lesson plans, lesson planning tab at the very bottom. I highly recommend it. It's just, it's a great resource. It's a, like an auxiliary resource for, for lesson planning and preparation. Yeah, get those two. I have all of mine open here now as well. And I am ready to start preparing for lesson 28 in unit seven. You had also talked a little bit before we started recording about your your theory of how the lesson plans set us free. So I'm going to let you explain that a little bit before we get into the discussion. Oh as yes, well. okay. Yeah, this is and yeah, and now that I'm looking at it too, I just think I'm thinking about it again too. It's grapeseed is a is a very com well, it's it's not when you're teaching it, it's not really complex per se, because you're, because you know you're singing songs and, and telling stories to kids, which shouldn't it shouldn't feel complex in your classroom. But the the design, the behind the scenes, like the 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 way it's all put together, is incredibly complex, and it's designed by a team of professional, highly experienced curriculum developers who have put together forty units of of incredible. Uh, curriculum material. And as a teacher, if you need to then take this very, you know, heavy duty curriculum and then uh, create daily lesson plans that account for the scope and sequence, uh, the design, everything that everything that came before and everything that will come after when you, in terms of the curriculum progression, if you have to sit down and, and try to uh, create an effective lesson plan uh, each day based on all of that, 
when are you supposed to think about your students and 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 you know formative assessments and all of the teacher things that you have to do in order to to be a good uh, to be an effective teacher for your students so it sets you free because you don't have to do that part you just you can look at the lesson plan that was created for you and focus on your students. And as and as we talk about this, we're going to be thinking about how our students might react to the questions and the and the things that you say and do and your gestures. So in, in that way, it sets you free to be an effective teacher. With that being said, let's get right into the lesson plan. First up, have you ever seen a monkey? So in this exposure, again, unit seven, lesson 28, if you're following along, the first direction yes. here is to play the song, then sing the song together as you do the actions. Then we're asking, have you ever seen an alligator crawl this way and that way? Model, use your hands and legs to crawl like the alligator. Any ideas here, Miklos? Well, first, yes, play the song. This is one of those instructions that is, it comes up once in a while on the lesson plans, because as we all know, as Grape Seed teachers, generally speaking, we don't use the audio uh, tracks in the classroom. We we sing we sing ourselves. But by this point, I mean this is like the th uh, third to last lesson of the unit. The students know the song very well. You've sung it multiple times now, and so once in a while on the lesson plans, it'll say, "Yeah, play the song." So just you play the you can play the audio track, and the kids will be able to. Uh, they can they can listen. They can sing uh, along with you. And and this is I believe it's probably well, if not the final exposure in this unit, but but one of the last ones by this point and then the student directions to say listen to and participate in conversations you know the students will be able to listen and also answer your questions relatively well some students will still be listening and that's okay goodbye my friends goodbye i'm sad to say goodbye it was a good day, but now I will say goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.